Hello YouTube and welcome to another Notepad++ tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can control the different versions of a document when you are using Notepad++. So are you ready? Let's get started. So let's say for example we have a text file, for example this one, example.txt. So if I open it using Notepad++ and if I made some changes, let's say for example I will just write version 2. When I save it, so of course the previous version will be written. So if I close this document and I open it again, I will just get the last changes that I have made. But how to control or how to get back to the last versions? So in order to do that, it's very simple. You have to, to go to your settings, then preferences, and in the backup tab, as you will notice here, backup on save, it's sets to none, but I can choose the verbose backup. Okay, and I can close this setting. So now, if I made some changes to this document, so for example, let me write version 3, and if I save this document, as you will notice, a new directory has been created called Notepad++ Backup. So inside this directory, you will notice that now I have a version of my documents before that I made the changes. So the new version of my document contains three lines and if I open this version here I will get the latest changes before I have saved so I get just version 2 and of course as you may notice the text file has been saved with the date and time so if I made for example another change to my document I will write for example version 4 and I save it and if I open again my folder here I will get another version of my document so it's very useful trick that you can do in order to control or to get back to the different versions of your documents and of course you can customize this folder here if you don't want to be saved in this document here in the current directory you can just go to your settings preferences the backup fab and here you can custom the directory you can choose whenever directory you want as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing